Number four then from the 2019 New Higher Maths Paper 1 format question here, reconciliations. What's really a sequence that's described by a reconciliation, but you normally just call them reconciliation questions. So what happens here then? You're given the first three terms in this sequence and you have to find these numbers, these parameters, these characteristic constants in the reconciliation that connects consecutive terms. U stands for any particular term. So the first term, U1, is 6. The second term, U2, is 9. And the third term, U3, is 11. And this connects them. If you know one term, use this rule to work out the next term. So if you know U1, multiplying it by M and adding on C should take you to U2, which is 9. Similarly, starting with U2, which is 9, if you multiply it by M and add on C, it'll take you to U3, which is 11. A pair of simultaneous equations. So I think we'll just do 2 take away 1, because subtracting them will get rid of those Cs. 9 take away 6 is 3M. 11 take away 9 is 2, which means M is equal to 2 thirds. And then knowing that, substituting m equals two-thirds. And whichever one takes your fancy, let's have number one. We've got six times two-thirds plus c is nine. Three goes in two times, times two is four. Four plus c is nine, so c is five. Part B, hence calculate the fourth term, just for a mark. So what's the fourth term? Well, now we know the reconciliation. The reconciliation is M was two thirds, was terrible, and C was five. So U4 will be two thirds of U3, just to put the button down, which I didn't really need to do. So that's two thirds of, and U3 was unfortunately 11 plus 5, so that's not working out too nice. There's no calculator. Well, that's 22 upon 3 plus 5. Now you have to put that into one form or the other, either a mixed number or an improper fraction. Well, that's 7 and a third. 7 and a third plus 5 is 12 and a third. Or you could have gone for 22 upon 3 plus 15 upon 3 is 37 upon 3. Either of those would do.